Hi and welcome. Today we are working on our upper body and trunk mobility and strengthening and seeing how that affects our core and our pelvic floor. If you happen to have a strap or a towel, if you wanted to add a little bit of weight or maybe some water bottles, and if you happen to have some yoga blocks, if not, no worries, I've got you covered. Grab your mats and let's do this. Alrighty, here we go. So let's get started in tabletop position. So coming down to those hands and knees and just kind of send your hips over towards the left. Maybe you look right. You can kind of go to the right and you look left. Notice how your spine is kind of moving, especially that mid to upper back. Check in with your neck, check in with those shoulders. Just gently going from one side to the next. Maybe you kind of sink the hips down from one side to the other. Use your breath. Nice job. Good. And then bring that back through towards center. Press into those hands. Take your left leg, send your left leg straight back behind. We're going to take our right arm, spin our right arm up towards the sky and then make a really big circle. So take your right arm down by your side and then sweep, lift, come back up. Another time, nice big circle, sweep underneath and then bring it back up. One more just like this, sweep, come underneath and then bring that back up. Take your right hand down towards the ground and we'll switch, left leg goes back, press through your back heel, spin your chest open towards the sky, really press into that right arm and then take that left arm, sweep it overhead, turn your chest towards the ground again, and then sweep, lift back up. Keep pressing through your back right heel. Nice, gentle rotations. Use your breath. Good for three, two, nice job. One more on this side, and then bring it back. And it's gonna be constantly that inhale, we soften the abs, exhale, gentle lift, and really feeling lower abs kick on here. We're gonna take our left arm, spin your left arm open towards the sky, and then take your left arm, sneak it underneath your right, coming into that thread the needle, and just the first time, just kind of seeing where you land, where you might feel any of that stickiness. If your head wants to come down, you can, but we're just reaching through those left fingertips a little bit more. Take a breath in here. Out to the sides of your rib cage, exhale, let it go. Press into that right hand, spin your left arm up towards the sky. And then sweep, bring that left arm, come underneath, reach through those fingertips. Now this time you're gonna lower all the way down onto your left shoulder. Maybe your head comes down towards the ground. Both arms stack on top of each other. And then you're gonna try to take that right arm, spin your right arm open towards the sky. And then drop that arm back down. Spin your right arm open towards the sky and push your left arm down towards the ground. And then bring it back, keeping it out of your neck. So breathe out to the sides of the rib cage. And one more time here, nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Take your right hand back down towards the mat, press into your right hand, spin your chest, lift all the way open, come into your side plank. So left leg reaches back, left arm comes up overhead. Nice, gentle breath in. You're gonna take your left hand, bring your left hand behind your back, turn your gaze up towards the sky, pull the front of your left shoulder towards the back, and then take that left arm, sweep overhead, and reach it underneath towards your right heel. I was like, is that my right side? Yes, it is. <laughs> reach towards that right heel. Press into that right arm, spin, lift up and back. Bring that left arm behind your back. And then take that arm, reach underneath, and just notice those different points of your mid-back where it might feel a little extra sticky, what you're noticing in your core and those pelvic floor muscles. Last time, sweep that hand behind your back, turn your gaze up, really press that left side of your rib cage towards the sky, and then sweep that arm, come underneath. 
We're gonna come back up, take your left leg, sweep your left leg to the outer edge of your mat. Press down into those feet. Maybe you scoot your right leg back just a little bit. Keep pressing into your right hand. If you wanted to grab a block for a little bit more of a lift, you can do that as well. Take the left arm, sweep your left arm underneath your right, and then spin your chest, lift it open towards the sky. Left hand reaches underneath, really press into the right to try to drop that left side of your ribcage. Peel your chest, lift it open. Nice, one more time. Reach underneath and then bring yourself, come back up. Keep pressing into your left foot. Pull yourself, come up. Take your right hand to the outside of your left knee. Left arm reaches back behind you. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. And we're trying to rotate from that rib cage. Hips keep facing forward. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, see if you can twist just a little bit more. Bring it back through towards center. Those hands come back down towards the ground. Left leg, reach that left leg back behind you. Lengthen out through your heel, and maybe your heel lifts a little higher. Feel that glute fire up. Exhale, maybe you have a little bend in the elbows, lower down. That leg can lift a little higher and then press, lift it back up. Inhale, soften, we're feeling lower abs. Exhale, lifting up, drop it down. And then press, lift, come back up. One more time, nice breath in. Reach through your back heel, exhale, drop it back down. Inhale, press, lift, come back up. Both knees come back down towards the ground. Pressing into those palms, and here we go on the other side. So take your right arm, spin your right arm up towards the sky. Nice, gentle breath in. And then we're gonna sneak that right arm underneath, come in to thread the needle. And at the first time, just noticing where you stop. Ooh, on one side might be just oh, a little stickier than the other, and that's absolutely okay. We're just breathing into it and see if we can ease a little bit more. Nice, breath in. Exhale, let it go. Press into your left arm, spin it up towards the sky. Nice, breath in. And then we're gonna exhale, sneak that right arm, come underneath, reach through those fingertips, lower down onto your shoulder, stack that left hand on top of your right. Nice, gentle breath in. And then maybe you take your left arm, spin your left arm up towards the sky. Drop that left hand back down. Left arm reaches towards the sky. Bring it back down. Lift, come back up. Nice, we've got one more just like this. Lift that arm, rotate, pressing the right arm back down towards the ground. Left hand comes down towards the ground, press into that hand. Spin your right arm open towards the sky, reach through that back heel, right arm comes all the way up overhead. Nice, gentle breath. Keep reaching through those fingertips, lengthen through that back heel. Nice, big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Then we're gonna take that right hand, sweep your right hand behind your back. Peel your chest open towards the sky. And then take that right arm, reach your right arm underneath. Kind of at that diagonal. Press into your left hand, pull yourself, come back up, right hand comes behind. Peel your chest open towards the sky. And then sweep that arm, come underneath. One more time, press into your left hand, pull yourself, come all the way up and back. Take that right hand behind your back. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. And then slowly bring that arm, come back up. Peel back down towards the ground. Take your right leg, step your right leg to the outside, outer edge of that right mat. Pull yourself, come up. Take your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Rotate towards the back. Keep reaching through those fingertips. Nice breath in. Pull the right side of your rib cage back. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Take one more gentle breath into the outside of your rib cage. Exhale, let it go. Bring yourself back through towards center. That left hand comes down towards the ground, or you can grab that block. 
Press into that left hand to get length. Spin your chest open towards the sky. And then we're gonna take the right arm, bring your right hand between your left arm and right leg. Peel your chest, lift it open towards the sky. Exhale, reach, come underneath. And check in, what are you feeling in your core, pelvic floor muscles? One more time, peel your chest, lift it up. And then sweep that right arm, come underneath. Both hands come back down towards the ground. Take your right leg, sweep your right leg back. Reach through your back, heel, really lengthen out. Hips face the ground, nice gentle breath in. Maybe the right leg lifts just a little bit higher, but we wanna make sure we're not rolling the hip to the outside. Maybe you stay right here, firing up that core, or you wanna exhale, lower down. Inhale, come in. only lower as you feel comfortable. Nice breath in. Exhale, lower down. Nice, we're gonna do one more. Keep reaching through your back heel. Exhale, lower down. And then bring yourself, come back up. Both knees can come back down towards the ground. Sink those hips back. You can come into child's pose. Or if you wanna lift those hips, come up and back down, dog. Nice, gentle breath in. Wherever you're at, maybe you're kind of swaying those hips, but we're breathing out to the sides of our rib cage. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Awesome. Take another nice, gentle breath wherever you're in. Exhale, let everything go. Pull yourself, come forward. We're gonna come back into that tabletop position. So here's where if you had little weights or if you wanted to use water bottles, we can grab those. And you're gonna press into your left hand. You can keep both knees down like this or you can send your left leg back. We're gonna take our right elbow and think of almost like scooping your elbow up towards the ceiling. We wanna feel right in between those shoulder blades. And then we're gonna take the arm, reach that arm out in front. Exhale, bend the elbow, scoop, come up, and then reach the arm out in front. Now the arm doesn't have to go completely straight, but we're just kind of like thinking punch, reach that arm out, and then bring that elbow up. Add it if you wanna lift that left leg up off the ground, but careful not to sink into the left shoulder. We're pressing, creating length. Elbow drives up, exhale, reach out. So just find what option works for you, and you can still be doing the same thing right here. Lots of options, just go with what works best for you, and we wanna make sure we're feeling those right muscles fire up. Lower abs kicking on for three, two, nice work. Last one. We're gonna take the weight, place that weight back down on the ground, and we're gonna roll onto our right hand side. We're gonna keep our knees down on the ground, pressing into the form, left hand comes behind the back of the head. So doing a combination movement here. We're gonna exhale, press, lift the hips towards the sky, left elbow towards your right knee. We're gonna slowly peel the chest, come back up, drop the knees. Now the knees push to the ground, lift the ankles, kind of turn your chest towards the back. Ankles drop, exhale, push into that right forearm, lift the hips up, elbow to elbow, press, lift back up, drop it down, knees press to the ground, lift those ankles. Use your breath flowing in and out and find what variation works best for you. Use that breath. Gently move in and out. Feeling those obliques kicking on. Some glutes. Think of squeezing those ankles together too. We've got three more. Nice work. Last one. Good, and then we're gonna keep flipping to face the back of our mat. We're gonna bend those knees, feet face the ground. Fingertips are gonna be facing forward underneath your shoulders, lots of options here. We're gonna press into those feet. Maybe you start to lift your hips up just a little. Maybe you press, lift those hips, come all the way up into reverse tabletop. 
Nice, gentle breath. You can be looking up. Maybe you let your head drop back. Do what feels best for you, but we're pressing those hips up, opening the front of our hips, and we're also opening the shoulders. But you can be anywhere in that range. Keep pressing into those arms. Take one more nice breath in here. Exhale, let it go. Drop those hips, come back down. Both legs come straight out in front. We're gonna take our right hand to reach the outside of our left leg. So grab the knee, the outside of the calf, reach for that foot and a gentle twist over towards that left hand side. Nice, gentle breath in here. Exhale, let it go. Good, take one more breath in here. Exhale, let it go. Pull yourself, come back up, and we're gonna switch. So that left hand comes to the outside of your knee, your calf, down towards that foot, twist to face the right hand side. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good, take one more breath here. How do each side feel different from the other? Bring yourself back. We're gonna keep rolling, come back into that tabletop position. Press down into those hands. We're gonna grab that weight again. Now the tops of the feet stay pressing down. We're pressing, creating length through that right arm. Take your left arm, stretch that arm. We're gonna bend the elbow, kind of think of scooping the elbow come up, and then reach the arm in front. Scoop, pull it up, and then reach in front. Feeling the core. Now if that right leg wants to go back, you can shoot that leg back but keep pressing through the heel so you're being nice and active. All the different parts of your core. Remember to grip with those fingers to take some pressure out of your wrist and stay with the breath. If that right leg wants to lift, you can add that as well. Just finding what is working best for you. Different parts of that core kicking on, nice work. Three more. Last one. Awesome work. Place that weight off to the side. We're gonna come down onto that left forearm. Stack those knees. On the exhale, we press. Lift our hips, come up. Right hand comes behind the back of your head. Take your right elbow to your left knee. Peel your chest, lift back up, drop the hips, knees to the ground, lift those ankles. It's almost like you're taking your elbow towards your ankles. Back down to the ground, press, lift those hips up, rotate your chest. Lift, come back up, drop the hips, lift those ankles. Find your pace, moving in and out. How do you notice the coordination from one side to the other? Use that breath. Nice work. Gently moving in and out. Three more times here. Nice work. Last one. Great job. We're gonna spin to face the back of the mat again. Pull yourself, come up, coming into option. Reverse tabletop like we did before, lifting those hips. Or if you want both legs straight out in front, fingertips facing forward, open through your chest. Exhale, push, lift those hips, come up, reverse plank. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Press those hips up just a little higher. Take another gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Slowly lower everything back down towards the ground. Spin back to the front of your mat. Press it back, child's pose, or lift those hips, come up and back down, dog. Good, wherever you're at, two breaths. Notice your mid-back, notice your chest, notice those shoulders, what are you feeling and what relationship are you feeling with your core? Nice, gentle breath in, exhale, let it go.
Gonna take one more breath in here. Exhale, pull yourself, come forward. Drop down to those knees, press into the tops of your seat feet, pull yourself, come all the way up, tap those fingers overhead. Exhale, open up, come into cactus arms, and we're gonna turn our palms to face the ground. Careful you're not flailing through the rib cage and tucking those hips forward. Rib cage comes forward, we're lengthening that tailbone down, and we're gonna twist to the right, and then twist to the left. Twisting right, and then twist left. Use that breath. Gently going from one side to the next. You can go as fast or as slow, but you're leading with your elbow. Rotating just from that rib cage. Three, two, last one. Bring it back through towards center. We're gonna take that right leg, scoot your right leg straight out in front. Press into that right foot, curl your back toes underneath. Lift, come all the way up. So here's where if you wanna add a weight, you could grab that weight again in your right hand. We're gonna fire up the arms some more, our core, and get those glutes going. So we're gonna start to shift the weight forward over that right leg. Pull your left leg up, option, toe tap. We're gonna bring that weight up, can come up overhead. And you can do the same thing without a weight or if you wanted to use a block. Maybe that left knee is up towards the sky, but we're keeping our rib cage forward. We're gonna send it back, come into that row, that scooping motion, left leg goes back or it's a toe tap. Now we're moving in and out of these two positions. So press into that right foot, reach, lift up, and we're lifting from the shoulder, not hiking everything up. Sweep that elbow, bring it back, toe tap or keep it lifted. Press into that right foot, and we want to make sure our hips stay facing forward. And you can tap that foot down. Whoop. There you go, losing my balance. <laughs> Press into your foot, and that's okay, that's part of it. If you need to hold on to something with that left hand, you can do that as well. Nice work. I feel that right side firing up. Keep using your breath. Really find that center with the core, pubic bone to belly button. Three more times here. And just find a pace that works for you. Nice work. Last one. Great job. Take your left leg, scoot your left leg straight back, come into that lunge. We'll place that weight off to the side, sweep your arms, lift overhead. Catch your left wrist and bend over towards that right hand side. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Come back up through towards center. Take your left knee down towards the mat. Take your right leg, step it back. Option, we are gonna come down to our forearms. So we can stay in tabletop here. And what you can do is take those toes, curl your toes underneath, exhale, hovering, lifting, and then inhale, dropping down. This is option number one. We wanna make sure we're not tucking our tailbone underneath. Slight lift of that tailbone, exhale, those lower abs lift up. So you can see how my stomach just lifts, pulling up those lower abs as you lift up. Option two, if you wanted to come into a plank on those knees, and then option three, coming into a full plank. Nice breath in. And then when you exhale, pull yourself, come back into those knees bending, kind of hovering above. Nice breath in. Exhale, push yourself forward. Inhale, go back. Exhale. Or we're here in tabletop, curling and lifting. Find what's working for you today. Nice job. And if you're in plank, your exhale's really important to help feel that gentle lifting up. And the inhale, we're softening wherever you're at. We went three, two, nice work. Last one. Drop those knees back down, press back if you wanna come back into a child's pose. Maybe those arms come by your side. Maybe you lift those hips. Up and back, down dog. Two big breaths here. Exhale, let it go. Awesome. 
One more time, nice big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Pull yourself, come forward, come back down onto those knees. Pull yourself, lift up. Tap those fingers, rib cage over our pelvis, bend the elbows, press in the tops of your feet, and we're twisting. Get that into your core, gently going from one side to the next. Feel that rib cage fire up. Nice work. Three, two, Last one, back through towards center. Take your left leg, scoot that left leg out in front, curl your toes underneath, come up. If you grab the weight last time, maybe you grab that weight, place it in the left hand. We're gonna scoot ourselves. come forward, toe tap or knee to your chest as that left arm comes up. And then we're gonna tap back, bend the elbow, come into that row, and then come back up. So tapping in and out, or lifting, or combination of any of those. We wanna make sure we're feeling shoulder blade muscles on that left side, left glute, and our core. Nice work. Use your breath. Gently moving in and out. Spread those left toes, press through the mound of your big toe for three, two, last one. Nice work. Take that right leg, step your right leg, bring it all the way back. Come down towards the ground, take your left knee, step it back. We're coming back to that forearm. So we can hover and lift those knees, or if you wanna come into that plank variation. Nice, gentle breath in, exhale, lift those hips, come up. Nice, keep using your breath, gently moving in and out for tabletop form, or if we're on plank, moving in and out. You just wanna make sure you're feeling those right muscles that we're not gripping and holding everything tight the entire time. Inhale, soften, exhale, contract. Three, two, last one. Lower everything all the way down. <laughs> Prop up onto those forearms. Pull yourself forward, open through your chest. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. I'm gonna take one more gentle breath in there. Exhale, let everything go. Lower all the way back down. Bring those hands back by your side. Press those hips, lift up. Child's pose or down dog. And just let your head be heavy. One more breath in here. And then whenever you're ready, make your way towards the front of your mat. And then if you've got that strap or your towel, we're gonna grab hold of that. And if not, I'll show you what else you can do. So if you've got your strap, you're gonna make your strap so that your shoulders or your arms can fit into it about shoulder distance apart. If you have the towel, we're placing our hands behind. If you've got the towel, grab hold forward. And then if you don't, we're gonna interlace the hands or place fists behind your back. So find which one you've got in standing. Press down into those feet, open through the front of your chest, and then you want to think of kind of pushing the arms out to the side, whichever position that you're doing. Keep dropping the tail tailbone, rib cage over your pelvis, and we're gonna take our right leg, step your right leg back. Keep opening through the front of your chest, reach those fingertips down towards the ground. It doesn't matter how far the arms are off the back, but you're just feeling the front of the shoulder and your chest opening up. Nice, gentle breath in, keep reaching through those arms. And then we're gonna take our back heel, spin your back heel down, open up warrior two. Keep pulling that right side of your rib cage back, open through the chest. Those arms are starting to heat up just a little bit. Keep lengthening that tailbone down towards the ground. Nice, breath in, 
exhale, let it go. One more breath in here. And then we're gonna straighten out through that left leg. Turn your left leg to face the side. Let go of the arms, let go of that strap. If you've got the strap or towel, bring it around to the front and you're gonna grab hold of the strap or towel, palms facing towards you. And then you'll inhale, lift the arms, come up overhead. Now, if you don't have that, take your arms, reach your arms overhead and flip your palms towards the sky. Just opening up the front of our chest. Nice breath in. Make sure we're not overarching through our back. Keep that rib cage down because we want to make sure we're getting into the front of our chest. Breathe in. Nice gentle breath in. Maybe gaze up. Exhale, let it go. Bring the arms back down and we're gonna head over towards the left hand side. So reach both hands over towards that left knee, your left ankle, let your head get nice and heavy. And then slide yourself, come back up, pull the strap or the towel or reach the arms up overhead, interlace those hands. Nice, gentle breath in, open through the front of the chest again. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Awesome, take one more breath in here. Exhale, let it go. Arms come back down, turn to face over that left leg, fold it forward. Your head gets super heavy, hands to your knee, your ankle. And slide yourself coming back up. Spin those feet back to face the front. Take your right leg, step your right leg forward. And then just notice left side, right side. We're gonna take the strap or your towel behind again, or you can interlace those hands. Whichever one you're doing, we're trying to pull out to open, broaden through the front of your chest. Nice breath in, keep lengthening that tailbone down towards the ground, fire up those arms. And then we're gonna take our left leg, step your left leg back, coming into that lunge position. Lengthen through the front of your thigh, open through that chest, nice breath in. And we're just holding, creating that little bit of heat. Or maybe a lot, it's kinda hot here. <laughs> I'm kinda hot. I feel like I'm doing hot yoga inside. Good. Take another nice, gentle breath in. Keep reaching through those fingertips. And then we'll spin that back heel down. Keep pulling the left side of your rib cage back. Reach through those fingertips. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good. Keep rotating that right knee out towards the side. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. And then slowly let go of that strap. Turn both feet to face the side. We're gonna bring the strap or the towel in front. Palms go to face behind you. And then your hands are a little wider than shoulder distance. As we lift the arms, come all the way up overhead. Nice, big, gentle stretch. You can interlace the hands and flip the palms towards the sky. And then we're gonna keep those arms up overhead and just twist to face the left hand side and see how far you can go. Not forcing, but just noticing. Back through towards center and over towards the other side. Nice, gentle breath in. Bring it back through towards center, twist. Awesome, one more time to the right. Arms come back down in front. Spin those feet to face the front. Both hands come down towards the ground. Step it back. Plank pose on those knees or your toes. Slowly lower back down. And then inhale, open. Come up into a cobra. Pulling yourself forward. Open through the front of your chest. Nice gentle breath in. Lower everything all the way back down towards the ground. We've got one more chest opener. Shoulder blade strengthener. We're gonna take our hands behind the back of our head. So if you have something you wanna like rest your forehead on, rest your forehead on the ground, you can do that. I'm gonna keep my head up just so you can hear me. 
but if you were resting the head down, hands here, and then those elbows rest on the ground. You're pressing the tops of your feet down into the ground. Pubic bone lengthens down towards the ground, lengthening that tailbone. And then on your exhale, you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift the arms, come up, and then drop them back down. Maybe they don't lift off very high and that's okay. Or maybe you work on thinking of lifting the elbows towards the sky. And then back down. Squeeze it and lift. Back down now, if you wanna add on, we're gonna squeeze, lift, straighten those arms, kinda like a 45 degree angle. Bend, hands come behind the head and drop it back down. Lift the elbows, reach through those fingertips. Hands come back, slowly drop it down. So then just go at your own pace. Nice work. Two more times. Right in between those shoulder blades, we want firing up. Last one. Awesome, scoot those forearms underneath you, prop yourself, pull yourself, come all the way up. Gaze up at the sky, nice gentle breath. Exhale, let it go. Lower down, come on to your back. Ooh, awesome job. Bring those knees in towards your chest. Let your head get super heavy, just gently rocking from side to side. Nice breath in, exhale, let it go. Good, bring those legs over towards the right hand side. Left arm goes out towards the side. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good, take one more gentle breath in here. Bring those legs back up over towards the other side. Right arm goes out towards the side or in cactus arms and you're just breathing into it. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, letting it go. Slowly pull those legs back up. Lengthen out through those legs. Take your arms, scoot those arms all the way up overhead. Nice big breath in and exhale, let it go. Another nice big breath in, stretch through those fingertips and your toes, reach it out. Exhale, let it go. Bring those arms back down by your side and just taking a moment to notice the openness that you created in your mid back and your chest and how that affected what was going on in your core and pelvic floor. And just gently slide one leg in and then the next. Rolling onto one side, carefully coming all the way up. And we'll take one last cleansing breath in, lift those arms up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center. Thanking your bodies for your practice. Keep up the good work. Until next time, namaste.